Welcome back everybody, How to Tech Studio. I am so excited to be bringing you this Pokemon Go hack without any need for a PC. As you can see, this is not the normal iSpoofer version. You do not need Alt Store for this and it works seamlessly by using the original Pokemon Go app. And I'll explain that in a minute. So as you can see, there's a joystick. There's also a radar down the side, as well as many options down the left hand side that have a feed. You can snipe, change your speed and trailer port to other places in the world. As usual, if you really like this video, then please remember to hit subscribe and set up that notification bell. Now, how do we get into this? Well, you are going to need a jailbreak for this, and it's really easy to jailbreak these days. So in this video, I will show you how to jailbreak your device if you are running iOS 13.5 down to iOS 11 and that is a no PC jailbreak as well as the no PC Pokemon Go hack. If you are on iOS 13.5.1 and higher, there's even a lot of iOS 13.6 which was released today, then you will need to go to the link in the description or hit the card in the top right hand corner and jailbreak from there. So I would save this video for later, like it, do whatever you need to, so come back to it after going and checking that link out in the description or on the card on the right hand side. So make sure you're all jailbroken um, if you're on iOS 13.5.1. If you're on iOS 13.5 or lower, let's go ahead and get that jailbreak first using no PC and then I'll explain how to get it from then. Now, this is a no PC tutorial, but it uses a different version that makes Tutu app, App Valley, App Cake, they don't work, okay? This one works. So the first step, let's go ahead. Go into settings. Now go to your Wi-Fi. Click on the blue icon that says the I. Scroll down to where it says configure proxy. It, yours will be now turned off. Go to automatic, and then in the URL, you're going to type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash FF Apple. Dot com. Okay, and this is a proxy server that basically means that the revoked certificates are now going to work. So click save and then go back to Wi-Fi and then turn it off and then on again. Next step, go to the link in the description or it'll be on the screen in front of you and then click on it and it will take you to this page here. And this is a, a wonderful, wonderful place where loads and loads of certificates are stored and the FF app uh, FF Apple proxy makes these work even if they're revoked. Okay, it's a really cool trick. So uh, go down to where you see uncover 5.2.1, uh, or if there's a new version, then that will be updated as well. So there's a lot of certificates here. I'm going to choose the first one, and these sometimes work, and then some some of them don't work. So it might be a bit of a trial and error, but at this stage, I'm going to do this CRRC. So click on that, then click install. Now you can go back to your home screen, and then you can watch. It, un it uh, install onto your device. So at this stage, it all depends on the speedness of your internet. So just wait for that, wait for it to load, and you are good to go. Remember, if you like this video, then please hit that subscribe button and check out all of the videos we have. We've got top 50 tweaks. We've got lots of different ways of backing up your tweaks and things that you can really do with your jailbreak, as well as we'll have Pokemon Go videos as well that we're pretty known for. So again, this shouldn't take too long. I'm going to skip ahead, and when it's nearly done, I will come back to you. Okay, as you can see, we're now installing. It's all loaded, so we're just about to install. And there we go. So we're nearly there. So when, if you try and tap this, it will say it's untrusted and there will be a pop-up that says it is untrusted developer. So you go cancel, go to settings. Now go back to general, scroll down to where you see um, the devices. Should pop up soon. There we go. And then click on the CRC, the CRRC, the one that you tapped on before. So tap on that, click trust, they'll trust. And then you can go back and open up the Uncovered Jailbreak app. And then here you can then click Jailbreak. As I said before, this only works on iOS 13.5 and lower. I am currently running iOS 13.5.1. So it's not going to work for me using Uncover. But there is a Jailbreak method for that in the description. So go and check that out. And I'm literally about to record that right now. So go and hit that and check that out. Now that you're all jailbroken, you'll have Cydia here. I used the links in the description to jailbreak mine because I am on iOS 13.5.1, just to show you that this works for also the newer versions of the iOS versions. So before we go into Cydia, you need to go into the App Store and download the normal Pokemon Go app. This is because it injects a tweak into it rather than installing a completely new uh, app to in order to work. This also means that it will never get revoked. So Apple can't take this away. If you keep your 
jailbreak, you will keep the tweaks, you will keep the hack. So that is wonderful news, okay? So just wait for that to install, shouldn't take too long, and that will be done in one second. Now, if I try and open up Pokemon Go, you'll see it crashes, and that's because it detects that there is a jailbreak happening. So let's go ahead and go and get the tweak, and this also stops that from happening. So go into Cydia. If this is the first time in opening Cydia, you may have some updates you need to do here. So just do as it says if there's uh, definite updates, or go into Changes, and there, if there's updates as well, you can also update them. So get that all done first. Then at the bottom left-hand corner, Sources, go to Sources, Go to Edit, Add, and then you're going to add in iPogo.app forward slash repo. That link will be in the description, and it's on the screen in front of you. And click Add Source, and let it do its thing so that it's adding the sources to your Cydia app. That should be done very, very quickly. Click Return to Cydia. Stay within Sources, and then go and find the iPogo repo. So that's the one we just installed. Go to Tweaks. And then we're going to install the iPogo tweak. And this is the hack itself. And that injects the hack into that Pokemon Go app. So go on modify at the top right corner. Click install. And then click confirm. And then that will run the hack. And it will restart your springboard. So click restart springboard. Open your device back up again. Now you can go into Pokemon Go. And your hack will now be inserted. As you can see, it also opens, which is a massive benefit. And as you can see, that it is working on my screen. Just to show you that it works, you can then go ahead and you can also um, change the settings here. Go down to settings, scroll down to where you see the joystick dynamic slash static. Put that on and then click done. And now you see your joystick here. You can log in, so I will show you that this works. Returning player, Pokemon Trainer Club, and then HTTPS, and then my passcode, and click sign in. Just wait for this to load it in. And there you have it, all perfectly working. And the joystick then moves. You can change the settings down the side. I'm going to change my speed. I usually have it at about 20 kilometers an hour. It makes for a nice speed that I can walk about and it look, goes fairly quickly, which is pretty cool. As you can see, the radar down the side is also working. That is really cool. If I wanted to go and catch that one there, I'd just tap on it and it will auto walk for me. This is a really cool and amazing hack. I will have a link in the description on the best settings for this and how to set it up. So make sure you go and check that out. And also remember, guys, when this works for you, please hit that subscribe button and like the video and comment down below so everyone knows this works. Remember, follow step by step and this works perfectly. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful time.